Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have an important update to discuss in the world of Apple and jailbreaking. Today, the company seeded the first beta iteration of iOS 9.2.1 to register developers. That's right, not 9.3. And if you guys want to win a brand new fourth generation Apple TV, just be sure to rate this video up and stick around to the end for complete instructions. With that said, let's go ahead and get straight into this and discuss the all new beta release. So again, Apple decided to release iOS 9.2.1 beta instead of iOS 9.3 beta, which while the features are currently unknown at this point in time, given that we don't have a proper change log, it is very possible that Apple has discovered issues with iOS 9.2, which was released last week, being the second major update to iOS 9 that not only fixed a number of bugs that have persisted since iOS 9's release, but also kind of improved some things surrounding Apple Music, news, iBooks, mail, and a couple of other different things. So again, it is highly probable that Apple has discovered some additional bugs that were introduced with iOS 9.2 that now need to be remedied with iOS 9.2.1, hence the reason it's in beta form today. A day. So if we scroll down a little bit, this is just Apple's developer portal, which is at least partially accessible without having to fully sign in to an Apple developer account. You can see down below at the bottom for the post date, it states December 16th, 2015, today's date. Currently, it isn't available as of recording this video for download for public beta testers. However, within the next day or so, it most likely will be. So considering we don't know what changes 9.2.1 will have to offer, being that it is a point one update, it will most likely focus on performance and again address possible new bugs that were introduced with iOS 9.2's revisions to the aforementioned apps and services. So at this point, I'm sure what the majority of you are wondering is whether this will hinder development for the next untethered jailbreak, which up until this point was previously believed to be intended for iOS 9.2. Now, while we can't say for certain whether the jailbreak developers on the scene being Taiji and Pangu, both of whom are currently working in stealth mode and have confirmed their interest in releasing brand new jailbreak utilities, will target the upcoming 9.2.1 release or the current public firmware being 9.2. iOS 9.2.1 beta will certainly set things back because it can really go one of two ways. Either the developers decide to wait for iOS 9.2.1 when it is eventually released to the public, which currently we do not know when that will be, or they could issue it for iOS 9.2 while 9.2.1 is still in beta. The only reason that would happen is if the beta closes additional vulnerabilities that the team has been saving and working on implementing into a new jailbreak utility, which is actually what happened with the first jailbreak for iOS 9, being Pangu 9, which again, they targeted 9.0.2 instead of waiting for 9.1, even though it was in beta, because 9.1 beta closed the primary kernel exploit. So if something like that happens with 9.2.1, then I could definitely see either Taiji or Pangu rushing what they have so far to function on iOS 9.2 instead of 9.2.1. But like I said, either way, the next jailbreak will certainly be delayed by 9.2.1 one because they'll need adequate time to actually test what they've been working on on this latest beta and determine which course of action they want to take. But I will keep you guys completely updated anytime anything happens in the realm of jailbreaking. Be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name. That way you won't miss out. You can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And briefly, I wanted to talk about how to install 9.2.1, even though it isn't in public beta form without having a registered developer account right now for those of you who are interested. Though I do recommend if you are waiting on a jailbreak and you're on iOS 9.1, you do not make the leap to 9.2.1. And the reasoning for that can be found in my iOS 9.2 jailbreak update video, which I will have linked for you guys on your screens now via annotations. If you're on the desktop version of YouTube, you can also find it down below in the more info if you're on mobile. But if you're on 9.2 anyway and you want to test out 9.2.1 just for the heck of it, then you can. It's very simple. All you have to do is obtain the IPSW for your device. Remember, it has to be the exact one that corresponds to your iDevice. If you get the incorrect one, iTunes will throw up some sort of error. And then from there, you simply need to plug your device into your computer via USB cable, launch up iTunes, navigate to the device section, and if you're on Windows, hold down the Shift key. If you're on a Mac with OS 10, you're going to hold down Option, and you're going to left-click 
check for update. Do not left click restore. Once you do, point that window at your device's IPSW and open it and then just confirm the update. It's really as simple and easy as that. You won't lose any data. It will just update your iOS version from whatever you're currently on to 9.2.1. All right, so I hope you guys like this video. Remember, because 9.2.1 was just released in its first beta, we currently don't know much surrounding the firmware from both a feature standpoint as well as how it may impact jailbreaking, though it will definitely delay the next jailbreak either way because the teams will need to do some testing regardless of which firmware they eventually decide to target. And if you want to win a brand new fourth generation Apple TV, it's extremely simple. Go to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari. Once you do, sign up and download any of the sponsored apps you see in the main section. You can download one or more just so long as you earn points. Go to the third tab, post your referral link in my unboxing of the fourth gen Apple TV. I'll have it linked for you guys on your screens now. Like I said before, if you want to be updated and notified when I release new videos and updates pertaining to the next jailbreak, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.